You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson. 2004 Olympian. Four-time national judo champion. Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Author, speaker and coach. Hey, what's going on, good people? What's happening? What's happening? Just finishing up some um, some work today. I'm going to wait till a couple of you get on here because I got something I want to share with you that's really important that I, I think a lot of people miss. So I'm going to wait for a moment. If you can, you want to share this with some people um, and share it on your page. It's going to be pretty good. I'm not going to, not going to sit there and lie to you. I didn't... Uh, Didn't prepare for it, it just came to me and I need to share it with you. So if you can, share this on your page or share it with somebody. I'm going to start hearing about um, 15 more seconds. How's everybody doing, man? How you doing today? I'm, I'm, I'm super tired of hearing about the royal family. I get it. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure that's been flooding everybody's timeline, either on Instagram or on Facebook or somewhere else. So let me begin. Um, I graduated from Howard University in 1997 with a degree in mechanical engineering. And I took my first job with Texas Instruments. And while I was working on that job, I read a book by a gentleman by the name of Stephen Catlin called Work Less, Play More. And <laughs> when I read the book, I ended up quitting my job. Uh, and I've never um, been in a really traditional position since. I've done some adjunct teaching, um, but I, I've never had a traditional job since. Now, let me tell you this. I've had the opportunity to travel all over the world. A lot of people travel too. A lot of you all travel. Some of you guys have traditional um, employment positions and you, you take vacations. I think that when you take vacations, I think you miss, on a, miss, a, you miss out on a major lesson when you're taking vacations. When you think about where you're going to take a vacation, you need to look at one where you're vacating, what you're vacating from, and then what you're vacating to. And here's why I say that. When you go on a vacation, you're actually running from your real life for a small period of time. And you're running for your real, from your real life and it feels good to run from your real life. And you are escaping to something. And the thing that you're escaping to is what you really, really want. And if you could fix your life the way that you wanted it, your vacation spot would be your life. Listen to me very carefully now. So I sat down years ago and I had to ask myself, what's most important to me? I like working out. I enjoy getting on the mat and doing judo and jujitsu. And I don't want anybody telling me what to do. And for those people who know me, you know, I don't want anybody telling me what the fuck to do, man. I don't. I was, <laughs> I put in a application because I like, I like teaching to do some substitute teaching in a, in a county that's near where I live. And I put the application in, I was doing all the stuff and the lady said, we need your social security number. And I wrote back, I said, damn, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. Let me get that social security number for you now. And then she wrote back, hey, you need to be careful how you speak in the K through 12. So you, we have to be, and I wrote her back. I said, hey, you don't tell me what to do, nor do you tell me what the fuck to say. I say what the fuck I want to say, when the fuck I want to say it. And you can keep this $10 an hour position. And I hit send. And I'm, I'm cool enough. It doesn't hurt me at all. I was going to volunteer my time with the kids. I ended up doing a couple of Zoom calls during uh, Black History Month to volunteer my time with the kids. But I'm not dealing with that because I had to learn how to create the life that I want to live. And I make decent money, but it's not all about money. I got a 
superb lifestyle. I mean, a superb, superb lifestyle. I couldn't, I was telling the people inside of my dojo, I've never, I, I've never gotten up and gone to my, my, my place of business and say, I don't want to be here today. Never, not one time ever. I don't even know what it's like when people say, man, I, I hate my job. I don't even like using the H word. I'm just repeating what other people say. I H A T E my job. I don't, I don't never happen. Never happen. Last time I said that was in 19, 1998, 99, when I quit at Texas Instruments. I never, I never said that before. After that, here's what I want to tell you. When you go on vacation, Ask yourself, where exactly am I going and why? Because you'll find out, you say, I want to be next to the water. Or I like a serene environment. Or I want to go somewhere where I can do outdoor sports. Or, I enjoy skiing. Or, I, whatever that space or place is, the place that you're escaping to, that's exactly where you really want to be. So you either want to create your life so that you can one, do that more or two, so that that is your life. You might want a second home in that area. Here's the deal. The question is, how do I create that lifestyle for myself and not even make a living? Because if you're not living like that, are you really living? I'm not telling anybody to go quit their job. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I created a, a book and a program with my business partner, Coach Arlo Henderson, called The VIP Life. And you can go to www.theviplife.net. I put the, the link in the um in the description of this of this of this live that I'm shooting. And the reason why we did that is because we walk around putting ourselves last all the time. Last. I got to do this for this person. I got to do that for my kids. I got to do it. I remember my dad told me, he said, hey, man, when I went through my divorce, my dad says, man, I, the kids come first. And I, I told him, no, I went to therapy. No, the kids don't come first. They do not. I come first. And then the kids, because if I don't handle it, there's nothing that there's nothing left for the kids. Sitting there putting your kids first all the time. That's not going to get it. Taking the time to take your kids to their activities and do all their things and do all that, that's cool. But you need to take the time in the morning by yourself at 5 o'clock, 5.30 to spend time with yourself. You say, oh man, I spend time with myself when I'm sleeping. No, you don't. Spend time working on yourself. Spend time reading. Spend time investing in yourself. Spend time taking those mini vacations to the place that you want to be in your head by yourself when you're awake and create the vision for your life. A lot of people watch me, man, on Instagram and they watch me on Facebook and they watch me and they see the stuff that I do with my kids and I'm in the gym and working out and my, you know, my kids are doing virtual school right now. And it, and they was like, man, you, you living the life. No, man, I'm not living the life. I'm living my life. And there's some things that I forego and I, they're not sacrifices to me. I just forego those things because I don't need those things for my own personal satisfaction. And I think that a lot of you put off your personal satisfaction in hopes on going on a vacation. Not understanding that the place that you want to vacate to is more important than the place that you're, you're, you're vacating from. I recently watched one of my friends on, on Facebook, man, take a trip to Africa and do the safari. And it was so excited in my head. I'm like, man, why don't you just, why don't you create a situation where you, you move there or live there or buy a second home there? I don't think people think that far. I don't think people think about what it is that they need. They don't get to that particular point. You never, you're always fighting fires. 
You're know, always fighting fires, fighting fires, fighting fires, and putting out fires, putting out fires, putting out fires. But your own personal flame, your own personal pilot light inside of your heart, inside of your chest, that never has a, an opportunity to, to go ablaze. Because you're pouring water on everything else, and unfortunately, when you're walking around with that water to put out the fires, you're spilling water on yourself. Here's what I can tell you. <clears throat> Here's what I can tell you. Make yourself important. Make what you want to do important. What do you say, Brian Fisher? Win the lottery, then quit my job and do jujitsu every day and maybe two other martial arts and get black belts in them. I tell you what, man. Here's what I do know. I know for a fact, if you do martial arts good enough, people will pay you for it. I do know this. If you write a journal about your journey as a white belt, as a blue belt, as a purple belt, there's other white belts, other blue belts, and other purple belts who will buy it and read it if you sell it. I know this. I know you don't have to wait for that to happen. I know that you can make that happen. But in order to make that happen, you have to make your journey important. You have to make yourself important and not think that you don't have anything to teach. You don't need to have a PhD to teach a six-year-old how to tie their shoes. You don't. You just need to have been six before. And you don't need to be a black belt to teach a blue belt something. You just need to be a purple belt who understands the blue belt journey. You don't have every technique, but if you have something, if you have something from your experiences to offer, those things are rich. And those things can make you rich. Take the wealth of your knowledge and your experiences and package them in such a fashion that they become deliverables to someone else. It could be done. It can be done. Make sure that you make yourself the VIP of your life. Go to www.thevip.life.net. Get the free book and make yourself the VIP of your life. Man, if you have any questions about anything that you read in that book, you DM me, you message me on my business partner, man, we will get on the phone with you, talk about it, and walk you through it. We even have a course about it. We have two courses. We have a web class and we got a master class on the VIP life. Get the free book today and start changing your life. Understand when you're when you go, when you when you when you're going on vacation, understand what you're escaping from. Because there's things about your current life that you're escaping from. Man, write down what those things are. Some of those things that you can eliminate, some of those things you can't, some of those things you can you can reduce, some of those things you can't. Write those things out and then write down what, 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 what your vacation spot is. Now, if, if you go into if you go into Disney World, don't write that down because Disney World is not a pleasurable experience for parents. It is not. Parents leave Disney World and they they ready to make a call and call the hotline because my God, Disney World and Disneyland will run you crazy. So don't write that down for your for your vacation experience. All right. But I have a cousin who loves Disney cruises. If she could get a job on a Disney cruise, she would quit her job today and go work on a Disney cruise and sail the world on the Disney cruise line right now today. My cousin Janita, that's all she wants to do. She love, That's what she loves. Her vacation spot is what she really wants to do for the rest of her life. She can get on a Disney cruise and, and bake and cook cakes and pies and dress up in the, in the co costumes. That's what she wants to do. Will she be able to do it? We'll see. Has she been trying to do it? Yes, she has. Because that's her dream. Man, find out what your dream is. Write the vision. Make it plain. Find out what you're escaping from. And find out where you want to arrive to. Go to www.thevip.life.net and get the free VIP Life book today. Listen, I love you, but God loves you best. Take care. Have a super fantastic day. Oh, Belize is your new is your new destination, Paul? I'm getting ready to go, Paul. I'm going to tell you this here. You can do this the easy way, or you can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. The easy way is to go to www.thevip.life.net. The hard way is if I see you at Howard Homecoming and you ain't got the book.